Problem statement. Perform a comparison between the revenue of the current month with that of the same month last year. For example, I want to compare the revenue of January 2016 with the revenue of January 2015. So let us look at how we can do that. So in this case, we are doing an year to year comparison. Now before I start with that, let me remove the revenue previous month and the target revenue from this matrix. So I just have to uncheck these boxes from here. So now here I only have the date and the revenue. As you can see over here, now it is showing the revenue for individual days. So what I'll do is I'll go over here and then click on hierarchy and then from here I will remove the day and then I will remove the quarter and then over here I will just expand these so now we have the revenue for each month of the year now to calculate the revenue for the same month for the previous year we will use the function same period last year. So again, I'll add a measure for this. I'll name this revenue same period last year. And then I will start with the calculate function and the expression will be again total revenue comma now for the filter what i'll use is the function same period last year and the date which is the only argument for this function will be the date in the calendar table now close the bracket and enter So here is the measure revenue same period last year. Let us add it to the matrix. Now you can see that the first year is empty because there is no sales data for the previous year as we have already discussed. However, for the next year you can see that for the month of December, that is December 2016, we have the data for both the revenue for December 2016 and the revenue for December the previous year which is 2015. So if you look over here the values are same. So that means that the values have been perfectly placed. Now the same thing that is the comparison for same period last year can be done using the date add function as well. So let us quickly have a look at that as well. So I'll add a new measure. So I'll name this revenue same period last year and a 2 equal to again we'll start with the calculate function. Now the expression will be total revenue comma for the filter we'll use date add. Now here the first argument is dates which is again the calendar date comma number of intervals will be minus 1 because we want the revenue for the previous year comma now the interval so if you remember in the previous example the interval that we chose was month but in this example we will choose year so that it goes back by one year so i'll select this close the bracket and hit enter Now if I add this new measure to our matrix, you can see that this also gives the same result just like the same period last year function. So as you can see, you can choose whichever function that suits you because both of these give the same result. So this is how you can use various time intelligence function 
to get better insight from your data. In this section on time intelligence function, we learned the working of the dates YTD, dates MTD and dates QTD functions. Then we learned how to shift a date forward or backward with the help of date that function and how to shift a date by an year using the same period last year function.